Talk about holistically, uh, what are some of the options with cancer? What are some of the alternative therapies that, that you have seen? Be well, successful? for me, from a simple perspective, it's all about replenishing the minerals that have been lost. So utilizing multi-mineral forms, food state type things ideally, although there are things like the uh, Quinton has these uh, injectables, although they can't sell them as injectables, uh, hy hypotonic, hypertonic, isotonic forms of uh, seawater. It's a fascinating thing if you read about Quinton, Q-U-I-N-T-O-N, Rene Quinton, I believe it was, the research that he did and what it's led to, but it's remineralizing that can help in so many, so many cases, so many diseases. With cancer, I'd say the number one trace mineral, this is not to say I'm an isolationist, but I will mm -hmm. acknowledge that selenium is critically important of all of the minerals that have been you know, basically debased from the soils. And if you increase selenium levels from a food-grown source, preferably, that is, we are designed to take food not from rocks, but the plants do that. Mm -hmm. They take it from the rocks and convert it into a form that we can assimilate. Now you can restore that which is lost and that selenium, which is the most powerful and potent of anti-cancer, cancer prevention and reversal nutrients. It also works with the liver, it works with the endocrine system as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know I'm an expert in silver therapeutics mm -hmm. and they'll also ask and say, hey Robert, you know, what about silver, colloidal silver? I've talked you know, extensively about silver hydrosol and the qualities and properties. And because of its power to carry oxygen with it into the body, it is a powerful adjunct in cancer therapy. There were some tests conducted that showed that the silver in this way at a nano size could outperform these platinum-based drugs. Chemotherapeutic drugs with platinum that they use were very toxic and dangerous, but they had an impact on cancer cells. They utilized the silver in the nano realm and were able to achieve the same or better success with none of the toxicity of the danger. So I would say look to that as an adjunct as well in recovery. Also we use as in homeopathy sarcodes or we take cancerous cells or tissue from someone with cancer and we convert it via serial dilution and succussion into a safe form for ingestion, a homeopathic form, and that can also alert the immune system to target and work with the body. One other mineral I want to re recommend and reference here is silicon, and I think I mentioned it in mm. another point of our interview for vascular and connective tissue issues. This is for the connective tissue issue. Utilizing silica strengthens the integrity, the elasticity of the connective tissue. How does cancer metastasize? It utilizes it like enzymes that chew through the connective tissue. If you can strengthen it through nutrition, you make it less likely to near impossible for any aberrant cancer cells to metastasize, to grow out of our ability to retain them as our immune system is weakened due to all the things we talk about, toxicity, deficiency, you know. And then there are emotional and spiritual issues as well that I don't mm -hmm. want to overlook, but sometimes getting to the brass tacks physiology is something that people can grasp and okay, okay, I can do that. I can do more selenium. Mm -hmm. I can do a little silver. I can do silica and find these good quality food-grown nutrients. Mm -hmm.